seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy. Hello, my beautiful ninjas, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I wanted to just come on and do a really quick video about my natural hair. I told you guys that I was going to do a series just like two or three videos just talking about just different aspects of natural hair in general if you guys have not watched the last video that i made in regards to natural hair where i talked about the five mistakes that naturals typically make when going natural or whether you're transitioning or doing the big chop i did do a video about the five mistakes to avoid so if you guys haven't seen that video i will make sure to leave it linked down below as well as somewhere on the screen but in today's video i wanted to talk to you guys i have some notes written down but in today's video i wanted to talk to you guys about basically five hard truths about natural hair and i feel like natural hair has definitely just been getting more and more popular i guess you can say which is really weird for me to say but i feel like it's an amazing thing for people to want to transition or to want to do the big chop just to you know treat their hair a little bit better and to just go back to its natural state i think that that's an amazing thing but i wanted to just kind of forewarn you and just to give you again five hard truths that you may not have known about natural hair so i'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it all right, so the first hard truth that I want you to keep in mind is that natural hair is extremely high maintenance. And when I say like high maintenance, I mean extremely high maintenance. Um, you know, just from the amount of times that you have to kind of like care for it, whether it's on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis, especially if you want your hair to be as healthy as possible, you definitely have to make sure that you take care of your natural hair. And it's the products for natural hair are very expensive as well. It's kind of like the same thing where you know the healthy stuff at the grocery store is usually the most expensive it's kind of the same thing when it comes to your hair as well the nat the most natural products and the products that will work with your natural hair uh, texture are very 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 pricey and a lot of times you can run through them very quickly because your hair demands attention when you go natural so definitely keep that in mind if you are thinking about doing the big chop or transitioning I would say for you to do it anyways but just keep that in mind that it is something that is going to be very high maintenance and the reason I wanted to bring this up as well is because I've never really had much patience for my hair just because I'm not a girly girl I'm not you know someone that is always like kind of like played in my own hair like I used to get relaxes all the time or just put my hair in protective styles like braid out I mean not braid outs um like braids and uh, Marley twists and things like that that's typically what I've done with my hair pretty much for my hair journey prior to going natural so I've never really been that type of person where it's like I'm always you know doing braid outs or deep condition in my hair or whatever the case may be i just kind of didn't want to deal with my hair so when you go natural you kind of have to face it and you kind of have to deal with it especially if you want your hair to be as natural as possible and if you want the length to come as well so just keep in mind that you know natural hair again is extremely high maintenance and then the next thing that I wanted to go ahead and just jump into really quickly is that natural hair needs to be hydrated and moisturized pretty much at all times. Whether you're doing, you know, different protective styling, whether it's braids, twists, or with your natural hair or with weave, you have to make sure that your hair is always moisturized and hydrated. So whether it's leave-in conditioners or deep conditioners or just putting or using products that are extremely rich in moisture will definitely help your hair to just kind of stay strong so that it doesn't or it's not prone to breakage and also it will pretty much grow the way that you would want it to so again you have to think of natural hair like a plant if you don't water it it's not going to grow and if you don't water it it a lot of times we'll just kind of die <laughs> so you definitely have to make sure to keep your hair very moisturized very hydrated as much as you can as often as you can obviously too much of something is never good um, either so just make sure that you're still using products that are very moisturizing but don't use too many products that have a lot of protein in them because it can do the very opposite so just make sure that you keep your hair very very moisturized and then the third um, kind of like truth about natural hair that I hope you know, if you don't, 
now you know um, the third thing is that your hair your natural hair needs a very low regimen low manipulation regimen and what I mean by that I mean although I'm saying that you have to take care of your hair and you have to keep it moisturized and hydrated I'm not saying for your hands to be in your head 24 7 you know every other day definitely don't wash your hair with shampoo too often um, of course you want to make sure that you deep condition your hair and you have like a good leave-in conditioner but when I say low manipulation, I mean try to stretch your hair as much as possible before washing and try to stretch it without having to add so many products that are not really healthy for your hair like gel and, and things like that. So try to do a lot more protective stylings, whether it's buns or wash and goes or braid outs or twist outs, things like that that last, you know, maybe four or five days or something like that before you have to restyle it again. Those things are definitely going to help your hair to stay healthy, to maintain its health, and also to grow. And that's obviously a goal that we all have when we're going natural. So just make sure that your regimen for your natural hair is very low manipulation, but just make sure that whenever you are actually taking care of your hair, whether it's washing it and things like that, that you're always putting a lot of moisture in your hair with your deep conditioners and leave-in moisturizers. So I hope that that makes sense. The fourth hard truth about natural hair or going natural is that shrinkage is so real. Like, y'all, <laughs> it's no joke. You are definitely going to experience shrinkage. It doesn't matter what your hair type is. It doesn't matter what your hair texture is. You are always going to experience some type of shrinkage. But you need to learn to pretty much embrace uh, shrinkage because a lot of times when we're focused so much on health, I mean, I apologize, when we're focused so much on length, when you see the shrinkage, you're just going to continue to try to manipulate your hair, which is not going to be helpful, but you're gonna try to continue to manipulate it just so that you can see the, the length. But like I said, if you take care of your hair, as much as possible as best as you possibly can with really good products the length will come and regardless of the length of your hair you're always going to experience shrinkage so you don't want to continue to flat iron or blow dry your hair just so you can see the you know the full length of your hair because at the end of the day that's it's not what matters if you have a head full of hair that's unhealthy it doesn't really matter because eventually it is going to break off it's not going to look the way that your natural hair should look it's not going to be you know lustrous and that's the way that i envision for my hair to be there are um i do have to cut some of my ends just because i do have like some dry ends and some split ends and i haven't done that yet because i haven't cut my own hair and i don't really trust going to the hair salons to be honest with you but i'm trying to treat it with like deep conditioning and also just trying to do more like low manipulation hairstyles so I'm trying to get my ends together because right now they're just a little bit kind of like janky and really like dry and things like that but just keep in mind that you're going to always experience shrinkage because obviously this is not the natural length of my hair my hair is a little bit longer than that but I embrace it I, I think it's beautiful and it frames my face really well. I get to be playful. I get to do different hairstyles. I get to be fun, you know, have fun with, with my hair. So just play around with it, have fun, stick to your own journey, focus on your own thing, and just make sure that you're focusing on health and not length. Because like I said, if you water the plant, if you take care of the plant, it will grow. So just keep that in mind. And then the last um, hard truth that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that sometime throughout your journey, it may, happen, it may happen once, it may happen twice, it may happen a million times, but there will be a time that you will contemplate going back to the creamy crack. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you guys were relaxed before. There are times when you're struggling with detangling or there are times on wash day where you're like, Lord please save me like there are times where you just gotta take a deep breath and just pray about it <laughs> because natural hair can get really kind of like stressful and like I said very high maintenance and you know sometimes it's hard to detangle you get tired when you're detangling and you gotta blow dry it and straighten it and you gotta deep condition it and you gotta moisturize it sometimes it's a lot and sometimes you will not want to deal with your hair so you will probably 
once or twice contemplate going back to relaxing your hair or whatever you were doing prior to you know basically transitioning into your natural hair state and that's okay um, just understanding that it's always a journey but honestly it's been five years since I've been natural and it is the best decision that I have ever made for my hair best decision like there are some things that I did along the way that I should not have whether it's like you know just applying too much heat to my hair or just kind of like not being as nice or treating my hair as, as well as I should have or could have but it's really one of the best decisions that I've ever made for my hair I would never really go back to relaxing my hair and I'm not judging anyone that has relaxed hair that's definitely not what this video about but it's just just learning to kind of embrace you and your realist I guess self um, that's pretty much been what this journey has been for me when it comes to my natural hair so I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about some hard truths about natural hair so I hope this video is a little bit helpful and hopefully you've been able to kind of find you know certain tips and things like that that um, maybe you can apply to your natural hair journey that can help you to just have like a more or a better experience at it so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys are all having an amazing day if you have yet to subscribe to my channel make sure that you do click that subscribe button it's that red button down below and also make sure that you click that bell so you're always notified every time i upload but again thank you so much for tuning in be safe stay blessed and remember to always treat yourself peace out